My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a breakdown of my favorite and in my opinion best quality lip products. So it's going to include liquid lipsticks, lipsticks, and lip glosses. So I'm going to break down like all the information for you, the similarities between them, the differences between them, which ones you know um, wear longer, which ones don't wear so long, all the information. I do have both high end and drugstore brands here and I have so much. I have so many lip products in front of me, it's not even funny. So we're going to get right into it. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. Okay, so I'm going to start with lipsticks. Okay, so my favorite lipsticks. Where do I want to start? Um, I'm going to start with the Urban Decay Vice Lipsticks. I actually really do like these. This one is in Criminal and it is a comfort matte. They do have all different finishes. They have matte, they have sheer, they, I don't know what else they have. But this is a really pretty like pinkish, maybe like a pinkish nude. Ooh, that would look good right now. Okay, so next I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips collection lipsticks. These do uh, wear fairly long. Um, they're creamy, they are, you know, very opaque unless you get a sheer finished one, but okay, so now the Charlotte Tilbury ones. I have Kim KW and, oh, it's like Emma something. So this one is a, like, pale neutral nude and this is a like bright coral these are very pigmented um i like the finish they don't wear the longest um but i just love the formula of them and just the colors she has very unique colors um and it, one thing, like, you had, have to make sure your lips are exfoliated before you use these. They can be a little bit drying sometimes. Okay, so the next lipsticks I want to talk about are the Marc Jacobs... What are they called? They Marc Lip Creams. And then I also have one in Le Marc Lip Frost. These... Oh, my gosh. These lipsticks are everything. They are so pigmented. They are like so creamy, so long wearing. They are probably like oh, in my top three favorite. This formula is just everything. Just, just so creamy and they last like so long for a lipstick and it's unbelievable like how comfortable they are and how long they do last. So this is Sugar Sugar in the Lip Frost, which I really like. It's a nude, but because it's a frost, it does have like kind of a metallic finish to it. Um, okay, so next, oh my gosh, I love these so much. These Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon. These are the most long wearing lipsticks you will ever wear. They're so comfortable, they're so easy to apply. Like you don't need sometimes you don't even need like a lip liner. You can just use this as a lip liner. They like apply so easily and they last forever. This is the longest wearing lipstick I have ever ever used. So this one is in Sugar cane. I actually just got this. They had a lot of them on sale for $12 on Sephora. So I was like, um, hell yeah, I'm going to pick some up because I love these so much. And then this one is in Glossé. And that's kind of like a darker nude. Okay, so the next lipstick, oh, this is pr 
These are probably like my all-time favorite lipsticks and it is the YSL Rouge Per Couture and this is in 22 and this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's a really pretty like pinkish lilac. But these lipsticks are so creamy, so easy to apply. The colors are stunning. They last a really long time for a lipstick as well. Oh, I mean, just look at that. What is this? This is number 13. Oh, this is like such a beautiful like orange coral. Or like an orangish red. Okay, so the next lipstick, oh my gosh, I don't know. Oh, this might be my favorite. Ah, so this is the YSL Rouge Volupt Shine. Okay, so now these are lipsticks, but they go on a little on the sheer side, but they are the most moisturizing lipstick in the entire world. Like, I don't even know how to accurately describe like how it feels but it just feels like you're putting butter on your lips it just like melts into your lips and hydrates them but the only thing is the wear time is very very short but ugh, I have gone through more of these lipsticks than anything else so as you can see it's more on the sheer side and this one is in ah the color came off but I think it's nude lover Labrier or something is the name of it, but I just like adore these so much. Here is a mini one, and the numbers off on that one too. But they are, it's like a lipstick and an oil mix in one, and it is just, I love these so much. They're ridiculously expensive, but I am in love with them. And my last lipstick is this Cargo. Oh, it's not my last one. Just kidding. Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but this is in Kyoto. Um, this is the first Cargo lipstick I've tried, but I have been so obsessed with it. It is, like, so creamy, so opaque, and this color is everything. Like, look at that. One swipe. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so now this is the last <laughs> lipstick, and it's going to be these NYX. Um, they have more than just the Simply Nude. Like, they have the Simply Red. They have a whole bunch of them. But I really like these, like, little crayons, lip crayons. They're really easy to apply. They are super, like, moisturizing and creamy and very opaque for a lip crayon. Like, usually lip crayons are more on the sheer side, but these are not, it's more of like a lipstick and I just really like these. And then I have one more, this is SR05. That's more of like an orangish red. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to liquid lipsticks. I don't think I have as many liquid lipsticks as I do regular lipsticks, so that's good. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipsticks. I really like this formula. They are super comfortable, hydrating, and very, very long wearing. These are probably in my top three favorite liquid lipsticks. This is in the color uh, Pure Hollywood, and this is like a really pretty beige nude. Oh, I love this so much. Okay, so the next one, I love the ColourPop. I have the Ultra Matte Lips and I have the Ultra Satin Lips. So the satin is more of like a lipstick kind of finish. And hmm. next, probably, these are probably my all-time favorite liquid lipsticks. And it is the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I have so many of these, it's not even funny. I should do a video on my collection. If anyone would like to see that, let me know in the comments below. So this is in Flamboyant, and this is like the most beautiful pink metallic. Oh, I love this for like in the spring and summer. 
and then I also, oh, Rose Matter, this is definitely one of my favorites. Oh, if you have blue eyes, that will be everything for you. Then I have really been liking the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. So this one is in stone. It's kind of like a neutral toned mauve. And then, okay, so my top three, we got the Jeffree Star Velour is number one. Um, my I'm going to put Anastasia at number three. And my number two are the Stila... Um, Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. And this is actually in a shimmer one. This is Patina Shimmer. Oh my gosh, I have been so obsessed with this shade. It's not even funny. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. I also have this really gorgeous coral one in Venetia. So these are all, my top three are all, I probably would say they have about the same wear time. The formulas are very similar. Um, I would say the Anastasia ones are the most drying out of those three, but they're not horrible. Like, I have tried some really bad liquid lipsticks that are super drying. I'm not saying they're drying at all, but out of the top, my top three, they're, I would say, the most drying. Um, but I love them all, honestly. And, oh my gosh, I completely forgot. <gasps> Uh-oh, one of them might get bumped. I completely forgot about <sighs> this YSL. Tatouage Couture Matte Stain. Oh my gosh, why do the numbers always come off? I am obsessed with this formula, this liquid lipstick formula by YSL. I can't believe I almost forgot about them. <gasps> I'm, the Anastasia might have to get kicked off for these. They are so lightweight. It feels like, you, does not feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick at all. They are super comfortable super easy to apply and super long wearing and so lightweight okay so my next liquid lipstick are these milani amore lip creams and amore matte lip cream so this is more of like kind of like a comfort matte liquid lip it's not it doesn't dry down like most liquid lips does. Liquid lipsticks do. It's more of like an actual like liquid lipstick, like a lipstick formula, but in a liquid version, if that makes sense. So it's not like supposed to be super long wearing, but they are very com like comfortable to wear. They're very creamy and very like hydrating. I really like these. I have that one, and it is called Pretty, and then this one is Fancy. I love this one. Look how gorgeous that is. All right, so now moving on to glosses. Glosses are probably my favorite. It's glosses, lipstick, and then liquid lipsticks. So, I'm going to start with... I didn't know like really where to include these, but these are the NARS Velvet Lip Glide. It's kind of like a lipstick and a gloss in one. It gives the finish of like a satin lipstick, but it has the consistency of a gloss. It's like a very unique product. It's It goes on like a gloss and it, it feels like a gloss, but it gives the like effect of a lipstick. So this is in Swing. And so then, ugh, probably my all-time favorite glosses are the Buxom full-on either lip cream or lip polish. I adore these. This is in Jennifer. They are just, they are plumping. They kind of have this like refreshing, like mint kind of 
like feel when you put them on but it's not like an overbearing type of like plumping gloss like the Too Faced you know extreme whatever plumping gloss like that is painful these it's like a refreshing feeling when you put it on and I just love buxom glosses so this yeah Jennifer so my second favorite glosses are probably the Marc Jacobs enamored high shine glosses so I have the original ones, which I love. This is in Skin Deep, and it's like a really pretty nude. Sugar Sugar is probably my favorite one. And I, I'm also going to include these in here. So this is the Enamored Hydrating Lip Gloss Stick. So it's kind of like... A lipstick and a lip gloss combined and this is in sugar sugar but they are just like so comfortable it goes on and feels like a gloss but it is more opaque it kind of gives the effect of a lipstick but with a like shiny like glossy finish so then I have the ColourPop um, Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in Imagine. This is actually a metallic one. This is really pretty, especially for like the upcoming holiday season. And then, oh, I love these glosses too. I actually just put this one on. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Glosses. And this is in Metallic Rose. And I love her metallic lip glosses because they have the metallic effect, but it's not overbearing like some metallic lipsticks can be. And then I also have, oh, these are so gorgeous. These, um, so this one's a diamond. This is like a pearlescent finish uh, lip gloss. I love these so much. Mm so pretty so then oh, I have so many of these I love these NYX butter glosses so this one is in cupcake this is a really pretty like bright pink I love this one it's like a cotton candy pink oh, so gorgeous all right guys well those are my like all-time favorite and best performing lipsticks liquid lipsticks and lip glosses let me know some of your favorites down in the comments below i love hearing your guys's recommendations and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys next time bye